We spend a lot of time in discovering what the greatest common factor is between two terms, or three terms, or four terms. I want to present to you 5x squared plus 30 and see if we can determine what its greatest common factor is and then pull that on out. The greatest common factor between these two terms is a 5. So I can rewrite this then as 5 times x squared plus 6. And that's useful sometimes that we're looking at an idea, we call this factoring. Let's factor out the greatest term. So I'm left with 5 times what is remaining. Let me give you a couple other examples of using this. Let's imagine 18x cubed plus 27x squared. What's the greatest common factor? And let's pull that out. The greatest common factor appears to be a 9x squared. And then what's left, and notice that I'm putting parentheses around what's left. That's very, 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 very important. So what's left is a 2x, and then a 9x squared factored out of this is left with a 3. So 18x cubed plus 27x squared is the same thing as 9x squared times 2x plus 3. Sixteen x to the fifth minus twelve x to the fourth plus four x. Again, let's take the greatest common factor and factor it out of each of the terms. The greatest common factor has a four in it. X to the fifth, x to the fourth, x has an x. And then what's left? Again, I'm putting parentheses around it. I'm left with a four x to the fourth minus three x cubed plus one. I factor a 4x out of a 4x, what's left is a 1. And how we know that is we go backwards, I can multiply this 4x all the way through. 4x times a 4x to the 4th, 16x to the 5th. 4x times a negative, uh, negative 3x to the cubed, negative 12x to the 4th. And then 4x times that 1 that we had to put in there, 4x times 1 equals a 4x. Last example. 27x squared y cubed minus 9xy squared plus 81xy. What's its greatest common factor? 9xy. And then what's remaining will be a 3xy squared minus y because I factor out the 9xy, all that's left is another y, plus 9. And so then I was able to take those statements, factor out the greatest common factor, so that I have this greatest common factor times what's remaining.